Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shante Maria. Just back with another quick video and just wanted to check in with you guys. I probably should have gone live so I can really, really talk to you guys in person, but I didn't really know whether... I know some of y'all are probably still working or whatever. I don't know. I just wanted to see how everyone's quarantine <laughs> is going. Uh, Michigan, just to give y'all updates on Michigan, will um uh, more in particular i don't know what they're doing in the up you know the up is like a whole nother country damn near but i can say you know for the lower peninsula i really think we all on the same page for the most part um as far as every county and city because well it gotta be the up because the governor <laughs> she's the governor of everything okay so it gotta be it gotta be upper and lower michigan um and basically it was here in detroit uh life is i mean for me i think because i work from home it's not too different um i'm normally home all day every day um not much has changed i feel like it feels like my kids are on break um so normally my kids like are on winter break spring well spring break sweets and go out of town but winter break mid winter break christmas breaks um i typically just change my hours and work at night for the most part and it's like really and they're same it's about the same um they eating up all the food <laughs> they don't they don't understand a quarantine and that the grocery stores are scarce um so they're eating everything my kids they, they are eight and five they are little athletes my kids are really really big my eight-year-old is damn near my height i am five nine so yes i have an eight year old that's him near five nine um he's a size that he's a little man he wear men clothes men shoes he wears an 11 and men like pray for me y'all <laughs> pray for me but uh so i mean i mean my five-year-old eats more than him so it, i gotta go out and quarantine shop again <laughs> tomorrow morning and because I work from ships, we did get notification. I think I think almost everyone got notification. Well, at least Meyer. I don't know about Kroger. My mom said Kroger is closing an hour earlier than normal. I think they close around midnight. So I think they're closing at 11 to restock shelves and everything. Meyer um, notified us that and Meyer is normally our, our Meyer um, in Michigan or Detroit, Metro Detroit. Um, all of them are 24 hours. So the switch is that they're closing at 10 o'clock at night. They're not opening until 8 o'clock. So they're only open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And that way, and it makes sense. I'm not mad at that. It makes sense uh, because everyone is constantly in and out their stores. They don't have time to restock. So basically, it gives them time to restock the shelves um, and sanitize, most importantly. So it's like giving them a chance to sanitize and clean, which is extremely important right now is that everybody stay clean. So they're closing earlier than normal, which is like, it makes sense. It makes sense. I think Kroger is doing the same. Like I said, um, as far as I know, they're doing the same. Um, and just like most states, um, schools are closed. Our schools closed on Monday. They set to reopen on the 5th, 6th, 5th, 6th, <laughs> the 6th. Even though technically I don't think it's going to reopen on the 6th, and I don't think it's going to be because of the quarantine, but that's our spring break. And they were going to be out of school anyways. And I haven't had any, you know, like, I know somebody that works for the schools personally. And he's he's saying that normally that it is spring break. And even if they come back, it was going to be a short week because that's Good Friday, Easter weekend. It would have been a short week anyways. Um, and I still got a vacation planned. <laughs> so, we still see what happens. Um, that's like two weeks from now, a little over two weeks from now. And what else? what else has happened schools are closed bars are closed gyms are closed i think malls and stores yeah malls and stores are actually open right now 
um even though the governor is, is saying nobody should no gatherings more than 10 people there are definitely my mom was at berlin sand the other day <laughs> so there are definitely still stores open i have a homeboy he works at best buy they were still open but he's just told me that he's off of work until they perform so i don't know i didn't really i forgot to ask him where they just closed um or was he just taking time off of work um so um the big three of course we had an auto here you know we have gm ford and chrysler we had a big three here you know motor city and we have a lot of car factories your cars are made here okay we have a lot of car factories and a lot of people were getting sick in these factories and they were not shutting down because it was like that's a huge chunk of our economy here in detroit is the car industry of course like we know that you know what i mean well, I wonder what they're going to do about the auto show. You know, they moved the auto show to June now. They used to be in the wintertime here. Um, but they were changing it to like the summertime because the winter here in Detroit is brutal. See, it's, it's a lot of money. It's like it's going to, more than anything, it's going to hit the economy super, super, super hard because now they're stopping production on vehicles. I mean, which makes sense because nobody working. So who was buying the cars? like <laughs> i feel like they probably should have been stock car production in a way because no the stocks have dropped i can't see nobody buying like a brand new 2020 right now <laughs> so but yeah it took them a minute it took them a minute to stop the car productions um but yeah that that is coming to a halt um what else i mean ship delivery is still going on like i don't do ship right now you know i have someone that has a compromised immune system in my home my son so i don't really go out too much um i think that's about it you know my job is still going on so those that work from home i know a lot of people work from home we have a lot of virtual parties um it's not about it. I mean, I don't, I know someone that has the Rona now. Very shocked by that. I actually know someone that has it. And she didn't really have, like, she's, she's doing okay. She went to the hospital. They sent her back home because she's not, she's going to survive it basically. She's, you know, she's not a person that has to be in the hospital overnight on ventilators. You know, she's the mama. She's a little older than me, but she's healthy. And the only um, symptoms she had was she was having body aches. So she didn't have fevers. She didn't have like a sore throat, like how they say you would feel at first, sore throat first. Fevers is what I'm hearing, but she had body aches. And she just wasn't feeling good. So she went and got checked out. Said she got the Rona. Um, sent her back home though. <laughs> so that's, when, you know, what I was saying in my other videos, I'm like, I, I mean, I, I know it's serious, but I also know it's people that's going to survive. It's a lot of people. I feel like we, of course, we hone in on the um, mortality rates, but we should also hone in on the amount of people that are surviving, the amount of people that are just being turned away from hospitals because they know you're going to be good. Like, it's the, it's the virus. It's a strand of the flu. And you're going to survive it if you're pretty healthy. So she just had body aches. They sent her home. You'll be fine. You're just going to not feel good for a few days. You know, um, but it's still, it's still kind of scary because those that have, um, you know, like a compromised immune system, like my son has it. Like, you know, so I feel like a lot of people are taking my videos, like I don't take it serious and I do. <laughs> I ain't crazy. Um, but I also, maybe I just think, I'm not a negative Nancy in a way. And so I've been for months focusing on me, focusing on just the positive side of life. And I feel like it worked because in this situation, I'm just like, we're going to get through it. It's going to be fine. And life will resume as normal. I still think a lot of people are panicking. <laughs> Oh, um, like almost unnecessarily, a lot of people are like, oh, the world is ending. We're never going to go back outside. They're going to inject us. They're going to do this and do that and do that. I don't believe that. I'm not that person. I don't believe that. 
I mean, and part of me, the conscious part of me is like, oh yeah, I know about martial law, of course. Um, but also, I know, I live in the United States. <laughs> I'm thinking about the economy, realistically. And I don't think we're going to be on lockdown. So fucking, there's somebody who's like, oh, we're going to be on lockdown for a year. Look, you think they about to give us the stimulus money or whatever? And they ain't going to allow us to spend this shit? Like, think about that. Think about, like, nine times out of ten, we're all about to get a check from this, right? You think they're going to give us a check and be like, oh, but by the way, y'all got to be home for a year? Do you realize how the economy works? The economy don't work unless money is circulating into it. We lived through a recession already. Did we forget? And my mom, like, I was a kid. My mom got a check. From the last recession, okay? We lived through it. We got through it. It was not a death sentence. It was not a war. It wasn't this whole... It was bad. I'm not going to say it wasn't bad. It was bad, you know, cause, because money rules the world. We need money to survive. But the, we got through it. We got through it. It was okay. <laughs> it was okay. Take this time. Spend time with your family. Meditate a little bit. Have some drinks because some of y'all need to chill the fuck out. Have a drink, smoke some trees, whatever you want to do. We gonna be all right, okay? <laughs> oh, I didn't mention the stores. The stores I haven't really been in, but I, uh, my mom, my sister just came from the grocery store. It's just like they still have a lot of stuff in stock. They is water now, it's tissue now. Um. Everything is cool. <laughs> You'll be okay. You'll be okay. I think most people that were like stress buying and panic buying are done. And it's still shipment coming in per usual. Um, the grocery stores still have stock people. People are still buying stuff. The grocery stores are not going to close. I don't know why. I, and, and that's that fear. A lot of people send the grocery stores to close. Even in China. Even where it started, the grocery stores didn't close because that is like what you need. You need food. Uh, I don't know why people's like, oh, the grocery store is going to be closed indefinitely. <laughs> Bitch, what? Our uh, restaurants are still open. Not for dining. I can go to the Coney right now and get it and get something to eat. Drive through only. They still need money going into the economy in some type of way. Like, I don't under, like, stop. Feeding into fake news. Stop feeding into fear. Stop feeding into panic. Do you know like when you're stressed out, your immune system gets worse? When you're stressed out, you're more prone to get sick. Keep that in mind too. But anyways, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, let me know how it's going in your area. What's going on in your area? Where are you from? What you're experiencing? If you know someone that has the Rona the virus how are they feeling and prayers to anybody um that's going through it that